Dr. Oludare, Nigerian born US based medical practitioner and convener, social rehabilitation group, writes from Dallas. In a ton of events that has that at international reverberations, Chicago State University inadvertently released the social security number of Nigeria President Bola Ahmed Tinubu while complying with the judge's order following a lawsuit by Atiku Abubakar, the candidate who lost the 2023 presidential election to Tinubu. The action sparks outrage and raised concerns about potential identity theft and misuse of the president's personal data. President Tinubu had previously expressed reservations about unfettered release of his academic records, fearing irreparable damage. His concerns have been validated with the recent exposure of his social security network. The exposure is in direct violation of the Illinois Identity Protection Act, which mandates that a person or state or local government agency must redact social security numbers from the information or documents before allowing the public inspection or copying of the information or documents. The social rehabilitation group, which I lead as convener has vehemently condemned the oversight by CSU and the alleged malicious intent by Atiku. In a statement, our group once stated, this is not just a breach of privacy, but a blunted disregard for decorum, international diplomacy, and the sanctity of personal information. The SROG has called on President Zinubu's legatum to sue Atiku for a staggering $1 billion Dollars for allegedly releasing the SS, SSN online and has also urged the us for CSU to face penalties for its oversight. The clear truth now is that the old saga, as it stands, has exposed in whose social security number to internet forces known as Yahoo Boys who can use the president's name to defraud unsuspecting netizens or assume President Tinubu's identity and obtain bank loans, open a credit card account, or gain access to the president's personal bank account in an apparent identity theft. This has also brought to the front burner the consensus of right-thinking opinions molders anywhere in the world that President Tinubu to save his hard-earned reputation from being sold by internet rascals should sue article for aggravated damages in a court of law. The backstory of this controversy traces back to Atiku Abubakar's attempt to disqualify President Tinubu based on his academic qualifications. This led to CSU confirming that President Tinubu indeed attended the university. They even presented the certificate from 1979 coinciding with the president's graduation year. However, these certificates resembled those issued in the 90s. It's noteworthy that President Tinubu's original certificate was purportedly destroyed by General Sani Abacha, which resulted in a reissue prior to his gubernatorial election during the 90s. With the international spotlight now on CSU and Atiku Abubakar, legal experts predict a complex legal battle ahead as the situation unfolds. The world will be closely watching how Nigeria, the United States and the involved parties navigate this delicate situation. Okay. Well, this article is a reflection of the current events as reported, leaving the inherent opinion solely mine and that of our group, the SRG. In fact, uh, these people, I think we've talked about uh, this thing, but now they are insisting that a Tinubu must sue article for $1 billion and also the CSU will also face penalty. And they are even trying to disgrace and embarrass Tinubu the more, this group. <clears throat> this show Tinubu has a dual citizenship. You and your group are aren't nonsense. This is absolutely nonsensical. Whenever you hold a criminal in one hand, he say it is on his leg. When tribal affiliation reduces an educated man from thinking a right, from knowing and calling white to be white rather black, I tell you that you education, your education is in vain and you have become primitive. If anyone in his right sense can begin to defend the old saga just because of tribal sentiments, religious affiliation, club or court membership, or even because of stomach infrastructure, I bet you, you are worse than a murderer and an infidel. May God judge you all. Bam. You people will only give yourself 
B a uh, high blood pressure for nothing. Everybody will soon rest. I'm very sorry for your barriers and the entire Nigeria. We are crying for the high rate of criminality going on in Nigeria by our young youth, yet at the same time defending the a recondemned international criminal which the whole world have seen because of tribal sentiments. You are looking for an, an opportunity to continue with administration. Your job in profits we profit in nothing. So let us know. Did you say Frost has to use the SSN of fellow? <laughs> okay, good. The social security number is that of Abimbola Adini Ketinubu, not that of Amodash Shangu. The people who are discussing lawsuits should understand that the owner of the SSN is not the man in Asuro. Please read. I thought elections are over. Propaganda should also stop. To defend evil is very hard. When you when you even input the SSN, a female and a woman name will be shown. So Tinubu has nothing to lose but the person he impersonated. Okay, Mr. President, please resign. This is too much on you. Hey, Geshim. Geshim. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.